The United States Air Force has been flying the RQ-170 Sentinel over combat zones since 2005, but details about this secretive aircraft are still rather sparse. Developed by the legendary skunk works out of Lockheed Martin, the RQ-170 is believed to be a high-altitude and stealthy reconnaissance platform, and likely even played a role in the 2011 operation that killed infamous terror leader Osama bin Laden. Despite the high profile of some of its missions, this drone itself has maintained a very low profile over the years, and it would be hard to argue that its secrecy isn't by design. Like the F-117 Nighthawk, another Skunk Works design that first propelled the world into the era of stealth, the RQ-170's most potent weapon may just be the shadow of uncertainty that surrounds it. While likely not as stealthy as the larger B-2 Spirit it resembles, the RQ-170 does have stealth characteristics and is likely covered in radar-absorbent coating, giving it the ability to operate in contested airspace while conducting its secret missions. The RQ-170 Sentinel first entered combat operations over Kandahar, Afghanistan in 2009, or potentially as early as 2007. It didn't take long for grainy images of the drone to start making their way online, with aviation enthusiasts and experts alike scratching their heads at the flying wing. The high-altitude drone was dubbed the Beast of Kandahar, and although the Air Force formally acknowledged its existence and name in December of 2009, the nickname stuck. While not much is known about the tech that can be found beneath the RQ-170 skin, it's believed to operate at high altitudes in contested airspace, providing streaming video to commanders elsewhere in the region, offering overwatch to troops on the ground, and potentially even serving as a communications relay for troops and command elements. With its broad skill set and low observability, the Beast of Kandahar was reportedly flying over Osama bin Laden's compound as JSOC operators conducted Operation Neptune Spear, the op that led to the death of the terrorist leader. However, questions still remain about just what the RQ-170 really was doing over Afghanistan. While the aircraft seems nominally stealth, the Taliban don't have radar systems to hide from. The drone seems to be used for reconnaissance, but there are other platforms in the same theater that could do a similar job. One possible explanation for the Beast of Kandahar's presence over the embattled nation, then, may be a suite of electronic warfare systems on board. Even that theory has left some scratching their heads, however, as the Taliban don't employ many advanced systems that would be negatively affected by radar or communications jamming.